Hi everybody. So I finally got around to filming my complete tutorial of my everyday beach waves. So as you can see, like my hair is just kind of blow dried. This is, it's pretty much natural. I have a little more curl in it than this, but I would definitely recommend starting from either just a blowout or your hair from its natural state because you want it to have a little bit of texture in it. Um, so I know I did call this like my everyday beach waves tutorial, but let's be honest, most of my clients know 95% of the time my hair is in a bun. So this is like my when I style my hair once a week tutorial. <laughs> so anyway, let's get to it. Um, so I used in my video the Kevin Murphy bedroom hair, if you can see this. Um, this is their flexible texturizing hairspray. And it's super nice for like a very light memory hold to your curls. Um, but I wanted to show you a couple other ones that I like and you will probably notice I use them on my clients a lot as well. So I also have the Unite Texturizer Spray, which is awesome. It's gonna give you a little bit more of a, a heavier, more textured hold. Um, and then another one I like that actually my hairdresser turned me on to was the Moroccan Oil Dry Texture Spray, which smells amazing. And I would say that hold was somewhere in between the Kevin Murphy bedroom hair and the Unite. So that is really all you need is a texturizing spray, which I'm gonna use bedroom hair today. And then some kind of a clip just to hold your hair back while you're doing the sections. And then my absolute favorite iron, which is the Babyliss Pro one and a quarter inch clamp iron. So this is honestly totally, totally like an old school, old fashioned iron. And I just feel like it gives such a great, like natural curl when you use it properly. So let's get to it. Um, what I like to do at home when I start my hair is I literally just take this whole section above my ears and clip it off. So I'm left with just this hair down here and I pin this up just like that. And then this section down here, I'm gonna spray with the texture spray. The nice thing about this texture spray, you really like can't use too much of it. It's not gonna get sticky on your hair like hairspray does. So that's the best part of it. Um, and then I split this section into three. So I first take this side and keep in mind, you always want your curls to go away from your face. It's gonna give you a much more natural look. So I start up high, clamp it, and then I start to turn it and feed my hair through. Now, when I get down to the end, you're always leaving that last inch out. Um, I hold it till I count to about three, and I just unwrap and then pull straight down. So you can see that it kind of gives you a straighter end. And my hair is short, but on longer hair, I would do the exact same thing. So then you take the middle piece and I always pull to the side just so I can see exactly what I'm doing. And again, you know, leave the end out. It's okay if you wanna leave um, like a different length on the ends out, like with each curl, which is just gonna give you a more lived in um, kind of wearable look. And then on this side, you're gonna go away from your face on this side. So that way in the back, like all your curls are gonna kind of go inward, if that makes sense. And um, any of my clients know, I kind of explain this to them every time that I do their hair in the salon, but it's a little hard when you're doing it on someone else, trying to teach someone how to do it. And I think sometimes it's just a lot easier to see someone doing it on themselves. And this is exactly how you would apply it in your own, you know, in your own home. So then I take down, I mean, this is really easy, you guys. It takes me probably five minutes total when I'm getting ready. Um, I take down a section here about this big on either side. Um, so you can kind of see like almost like to the temple area down and I just separate that on both sides and then I pin this part back up to keep it out of the way. And then just again, spritz each section with the bedroom hair. Um, sometimes, like today, my hair's a little messy. I will run the brush through it just to like distribute the product so it's not all tangly. And then 
again, you're gonna split these into two. Now this is where the beach wave trick comes in. So when you split this into two, this curl in your crown, you're actually gonna curl towards your face. Always start up high though on all of the curls. I didn't even clamp the whole thing. So start up high and you're curling this towards. The reason that I curl this particular one towards my face is because you don't want all of your curls, especially uh, long haired girls, like I'm sure you guys all know, like if you ever curled your hair and like you curl them all away from your face and as the day goes on, you're like, they kind of just fall into one giant curl. And we don't want that. We want it to have some like texture. So, um, you know, by switching the direction of that one and then going back to away from your face in the front, that is just gonna keep them from falling into one curl. It's gonna give it a little more of a beachy, worn look and not be so perfect. So again, I'm just pulling the end out as you can see. And don't touch them too much when you take them off the iron. You want them to set into that position. And you definitely don't wanna like comb them out until they're completely cooled. So again, here, this curl is going towards my face feeding it in, leaving the end out, holding it for a few seconds, and then unwrap, pull through the bottom. And then this one is gonna go away from the face. And when you unwrap, don't unclamp the iron, just kind of unravel and then pull down, which I think is like the biggest trick to this, but it's a little hard to teach somebody. So my next section is just gonna be one section in the back crown area. So if you can see, I am taking this whole piece here and that's gonna be one curl. So, I mean, as you can see, I'm doing pretty big sections. You don't need to do like a million sections. You don't want your hair to look like it's, you know, you don't want to look like you're going to prom. You want to look like you were at the beach. This is effortless. You woke up like this, you know, simple, easy breezy. So take this whole section and this one, honestly, it doesn't matter which way you curl this section. I just kind of curl it wherever I feel like comfortable, um, which is usually this way, but it depends. I sometimes switch it up. Okay, so we are down to our last two sections. And I, you know, just go by where your part is. Um, so I kind of split this in half here, which you probably saw in my quick video. Um, again, spray a little bit of texturizer through there. And then both of these sections, like the front and the back one are both gonna go away from your face. Um, we don't need to like do another one towards your face because it's gonna create more texture this way. So start at the top, ravel it in. Now, if you have longer hair, you would just keep going and still leave like that last inch of your hair out. Um, but again, like on shorter hair, this is gonna be the way that you would do it. So unwrap, pull down. And if you notice, again, I'm not like unclamping the iron, I'm leaving it clamped on my hair when I unwrap it. Now this piece, which in color we like to call it the money piece, and even with your curls, it's still the money piece. So you don't want it too curly. Um, you want that super soft, swept away from your face look. So what I like to tell people, keep in mind when you're curling the front piece, you kind of want that curl to hit cheekbone height. You don't want it to be super, super curly. So you're not gonna hold this one as long. You're not gonna ravel it as much. You're gonna start a little bit lower and wrap it maybe twice here. And then very quickly, you're gonna unwrap and it just gives you that perfect soft one around your face. Like you don't need the one around your face to be crazy. Um, so same thing on this side here. This one's gonna go away, start at the top. again, when I pull this out, you know, watch how I'm not even touching the clamp on the iron. I'm just unraveling it and then pulling straight down. 
So again, right here, we are gonna do the same thing we did on the other side. So start a little bit lower, curl, and then unwrap and pull. Okay, so once you finish curling, obviously it's gonna look a little bit crazy like this. And I always tell clients like resist the urge to touch it because this is like the crucial time. So when you have your hair curled, like go ahead, you know, do your makeup, find your outfit, do whatever you're gonna do. Let these curls set because when once the hair cools in that curled position, you can brush it out, you can, you know, run your fingers through it, you can pretty much do anything. And the curl will not come out that way. Um, reason being is once your hair cools in the set position, it's gonna really hold on to that shape, especially when you're using, you know, a texture spray, it's all gonna help to set that curl. And the great thing about that is when you wake up the next day, if you're not gonna work out, you're not gonna do anything to mess up your hair, it's gonna kind of hold that shape. So you can easily touch up or pick a few random pieces, curl it. Um, like I said, I mean, I tried to talk you guys through it. So this video probably took about 15 minutes, but in reality, when I do my hair like this day to day, even if I am going out, it really, truly, the curls take me about five minutes tops. And then I let them sit for maybe five minutes and I comb them out. Um, so again, um, the three texturizing sprays that I really love are the Kevin Murphy Bedroom Hair, the Moroccan Oil Dry Texture Spray, and also the Unite Texturizer Spray. And all of these are available at my salon loft um, for purchase. And I also have available to buy the Babyliss Pro one and a quarter inch iron, which is honestly a really inexpensive iron. I think it's like $49 retail, so it's a great deal. It'll last forever. You'll never, you'll never buy another one. Um, so, okay. So when you finish this look, this is kind of the key to all of it. Um, it doesn't have to be perfect. That's the idea of it. So once your curls have cooled, you're going to either take a comb or just take your fingers. Um, sometimes at work, a lot of my clients know when I comb out their curls, like for an Instagram photo, which is like my favorite moment of the whole process, you know that I use like a Kevin Murphy texture comb, which is just like a wide tooth um, comb and it works great, but at home you can use your fingers. It's not really necessary to have a special comb. So I kind of just start at the bottom and I sort of start to like run my hands through it and just like break these up a little bit because you definitely don't want them to be perfectly curled. Um, and then, you know, at this, once you've kind of like broke them up a bit, you can tell it's kind of just a messy wave. So it's not even really like a curl per se. And then I would just take a little more of that texture spray at this point and really like get in there and kind of give it some, some extra shape and volume because nobody likes flat hair. And then um, at this point, like you can definitely, I do this a lot, like if I'm going out and I really want my hair to look good, I will go in and just kind of like touch up a few random pieces, like just in the center to give like some extra like pieciness here. You can even do this, like if you used a wand, you can go back in and kind of um, just like touch up here and there. So yeah, I mean, that is the finished look. And then, you know, through the day, like I'll sometimes flip it or, you know, you can do like a deeper side part with it. You kind of have like endless options. Um, but overall, it's just, it's super easy. I feel like it always looks good. Um, and it's just like a cute beachy, you know, summer style. Um, I hope that you guys enjoyed this. If you want to comment below, let me know, you know, what else you guys want to see hair wise, um, makeup, anything. Um, and again, you can get all of these products that I used at my loft. If you shoot me a DM or a text message or whatever, um, 
I would be happy to hold them for you. And also, um, you know, again, comment below, let me know what else you would like to see. Um, and that's about it guys. So I hope you enjoyed it. I hope this helped you out. Maybe you can do this at home now and make sure you subscribe so you can see when I put up a new video and I will link below all the products as well. Um, in case you're not in the area, you can't um, get to the loft. I'll throw a link in there exactly what I used and where to get it. I hope you guys are having a great day.